So I actually qualified here um, 2014, 15, and 16 in the junior girl racing when I was 19 and 11. So to be here in the breakaway is kind of a little bit different. You know, I was talking to somebody this morning and, um, you know, I told him I kind of really didn't know what to expect coming in for the breakaway. You know, it's kind of a different setup, you know, compared to what I'm usually used to. But um, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I'm really just gonna go in and try and make a good clean run. Um, hopefully I hit the barrier just right and from there, you know, it's all, you know, everything I've learned over the years, you know, will really come into play then. Um, but really just here to have fun and enjoy it. Um, it means everything, you know, I spent, uh, you know, I got the opportunity to go to Montana and then next morning I was up in South Dakota, you know, so it's really just a mental game, you know, I. So blessed, you know, to be even be here. You know, it's such a huge accomplishment. You know, um, I work, I just worked hard all year, and uh, you know, just everybody who helped me out along the way to get here. You know, so to be here, you know, is amazing. You know, my first year with this horse here. You know, so kind of just really plan to um, uh, kind of take it slow and you know, kind of keep him relaxed. You know, because he does kind of get a little antsy. You know, but. Everybody, you know, works hard all year long, you know, to be able to compete here and, you know, um, I'm just so happy for everybody who's qualified and it's a big thing in any country. Yeah, um, you know, my parents and my family, you know, not only them, you know, but my community back home and everybody who's supported me all these years, you know, I'm just so excited. Um, my last year here in the juniors and then uh, next year I'll move up into the Open, so I'm pretty excited. Uh, just trying to keep myself uh, cool and, you know, kind of just focus on what I need to do and, uh, you know, hopefully um, things go plan, you know, but if they don't, you know, then I totally understand. Jocelyn Connacini, Halo River Indian Community, are you here? Sometimes I'll find you, Connor, and I want to start to get you going now, but it's late. Oh. Uh, my horse did a lot better than I thought he would. Uh, just kind of had some trouble um, as far as um, getting him to stand the way I wanted him to. Um, everything after that though went pretty good. Uh, it was, it wasn't a very good run. Uh, I kind of threw it and he kind of went right. And I realized that I could have fished it on, but he had gone right. So um, this plan to come back stronger next round and stuff and hopefully get my tip down a lot more and you know just really go over uh, what I could have done better on. Well, today is the third round of the uh, Indian National Finals, and I am, uh, have not done very good, nor have I dropped very good in, in the previous rounds. So um, I, uh, we're, we're coming in at the bottom end of the, the list. You know, they take the first, this half is the bottom end of it tonight. Tomorrow will be the other half, the top end. Um, it's been pretty tough overall. There hasn't been very many, uh, I don't think, Really, really good times. There's some good times for the, the cattle that they have. Uh, they, they have not been too good. Um, been pretty tough putting a lot of people out. Uh, and uh, yeah, so tonight my game plan is uh, go ahead and run at some go around money and 
possibly sneak in, hopefully sneak into Saturday night. I think as of right now, I'm, I got probably like seven people that I need to beat in order to get into uh, Friday or Saturday night's performance. So it's kind of a, um, I think I have to do really good tonight in order to guarantee that I'm there Saturday night. So everybody gets uh, four or three head here, and then they take the top 15 or 16, I may have heard, on two of them, or I mean on three of them. And uh, just like I said, this I haven't been drawn very good, haven't been getting a very good opportunity to uh, make it happen. I had a steer yesterday afternoon on paper. He was supposed to stop and be slow. Uh, he ran on and then did not do what he was supposed to do, so I, I got put out by that. Tonight, uh, I went over when I first seen you guys um, to look at the draw, and they haven't had it posted yet, so I don't really know what I'm looking at tonight. Um, but I, the horses have been working great. Like I, This horse won Horse of the Year this year for the INFR, and um, so, I mean, we're lucky we can get on the best ones we can, that are here than that. You know, that's half the battle, is making sure you got a good team of horses <clears throat> to ride. Um, tonight, uh, I just, Gonna go out and just have, go have a good run, clear my mind. I haven't had no the first two rounds. They didn't do, didn't do no good. Um, but um, the next most important run is your next one. So tonight I'm just gonna go go at it. And my thought is just to go and make a clean run. I mean, and let everything else go in his favor. So that's what I'm doing tonight. Um, I've actually, myself, I've actually drawn two really good steers. I just hadn't used them um, on my part. So it's been all my, you know, hiccups but um, just grab, get another one. They're all good if you make them good if they're not, so. Having him here uh, is a big help. It's kind of awesome. Uh, you know, I, we talked about it at the beginning of the year. He was, I just, that first year, he was just gonna go with me to, you know, the help with driving and stuff like that, and maybe pay some some bills here and there on the on the road. But um, I talked him into getting his car because I know he rides. I know he can ride good enough to make to make the finals, and sure enough, he did. Uh, I'm hoping if he can he can just ride this. Ride this high that he has right now, coming off of a good four out of the season, and try to convince him to get his pro card because we we need more we need more native cowboys in general, and especially on the rough stock end. There's not a lot of them going, and if they are, they're going with like a, a group of white guys or you know by themselves, which is what I'm doing. Uh, it, it's kind of tough to kind of it's kind of tough to be away from home. When you're when growing up, you're so close to have you know family ties. You know you're with them 24/7. You know you joke around with them, you cry with them, you laugh with them. You know you feel everything with them. It's just a it's just a long and feeling when you're traveling on your own. So it's just kind of nice when the season started that I knew that I wasn't gonna have 
I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna be doing it alone. I was doing it with him. He, uh, uh, he pushed me, and I pushed him. And at the end of at the end of each day, over this past summer, you know, everything. The last thing you probably said for that day was, you know, for the finals, we're gonna be at the finals. Just watch, it's gonna pay off. Sure enough, it did. It, it's not going the way you hoped for, but shoot, we made it. Now a lot of guys can say they made the finals with their brother as their traveling partner. And to both be rough stock guys as well, it, that's something in itself. So just, uh, we're just glad that he's here and I can hype him up, he can hype me up. And, uh, you know, I, we, can both, we both remember, you know, bulls and horses. So if I don't remember a horse, he probably does, or, you know, vice versa. So it's, it's just awesome knowing that he's here. And yeah, he, we're getting older. Aren't doing the things we used to when we were kids? And, but at the end of the day, I mean, we're doing what we love. That's being Rodeo Cowboys. I've been uh, around this sport uh, practically all of my life. Um, I was raised on a ranch, so uh, just learning from my brothers and my dads and my grandpas. So really, uh, all the bulls here are really good. Uh, to get a qualified ride, uh, we'll put you in that uh, championship round on Saturday night. So hopefully I've never seen the bull. Um, the contractor that does have him uh, has awesome bulls, so hopefully uh, I get a good, uh, good score on him. Just, just try your hardest. Uh, no matter what the outcome is, just try your hardest. Uh, tonight didn't go the way I wanted it to go. Um, finals isn't how I planned it to go, but I'm gonna keep keep coming and keep trying to keep coming, get try to get that gold buckle here. Um, just gonna keep trying. That's all. Can't give up.
Here it is right here, Shakota Mini Gray Horses. There's that first barrel we're looking for. Riding that real nice road, she's got magic tricks. That's a steep line on it, so let's improve. Let's go! she bought today so that's a good thing um, yesterday's run didn't go as planned but we just have to regroup just shake it off today's a new day just back to the drawing boards practice the dummy and just study the run and hope for a good turnout I think she's feeling good um, she uh, watched her calf run this morning um, so the calves are all tagged by ear so she watched it run earlier with the long break he roped it earlier in the senior breakaway so she got to study it a little bit um, so I know she's feeling good her confidence is boosted a little uh, boosted up a little bit um, just good just good that she caught it so it's unfortunate that she's not going to make the top 10 but at least she finishes on a somewhat of a strong note. Just proud of her in the arena, outside of the arena. She's really, really a good kid. I mean, she she works hard. She's, she's a great um, big sister to her siblings. Um, she works with her little sisters on their riding. Um, she makes good grades. Um, she's just a great um, all-around student athlete. Um, she plays basketball for school. She rodeos, that's her primary passion, is just, just rodeo. That's just her heart and soul. <laughs> Finals in a go exactly planned. Um, bucked off my uh, last and final bowl. Uh, just go home and practice now. Practice, practice, practice. Uh, and I'll be back here hopefully uh, next year. Try to try to win that world title. But uh, as of right now. Uh, Gonna go home, go back uh, to our room, wait for my brother to ride tonight. He's in the championship round, so um, hopefully he makes the ride and uh, pulls the check. But uh, as for me, I'm done. Uh, it was a good finals. Uh, it's a good first finals. Um, I will be back next year, though.
Right, well, uh, now to wrap on the 2021, you know, Indian National Finals here in Las Vegas. Uh, didn't, we didn't have the, the outcome we hoped for, but uh, it's, it's every qualification and just making it here is an experience in itself. And sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But uh, you know, if you just put your mind to it and have a good support system and just willing to go all that extra mile, not just for your loved ones, but for yourself and to prove to yourself that you can do anything. Um, this making it to something like this, it it tells a lot, and it gives other people to look up to, gives other you know young kids you know something to look up to, and you know it may not be rodeo, it may be basketball, it may be wrestling, hell, it may be, may even be polo or you know something that's you know not Western related, but as long as they know that if someone that comes from the same background as them can do it, then what's hold, then what's holding them back? But um. It's, we're gonna keep rolling and there's another finals notch in our belt and we're gonna look forward to the next one and like just like today and just have fun and not worry about nothing because like I said, take away the lights, the name behind the rodeo and the fans, it's, it's a competition to see who's the best. And if you wanna be the best, you're gonna work hard for it. happen so fast you know you you you'll blink and you'll you'll miss and you don't even know it you know but I kind of you know was a little bit on the slower end in Vegas you know wasn't really I was probably about maybe two seconds two or three seconds off from who, who wanted to go around you know so really just trying to up my speed a little bit you know but it really kind of just depends you know the last round you know I just wanted to catch and you know a three nine um, was 10th hole, I was 10th, 11th hole with the 4-0, you know, so it happens so quick and, you know, just a matter of a tenth or hundreds of a second, you know, really just puts you out. Um, you know, growing up, you know, there's just been so many people that have helped me over the years, you know, whether, you know, just be advice, you know, um, you know, financially, you know, because it takes a lot to get up and down the road, especially when you're traveling out of state. You know, it can be pretty expensive, you know, especially the fuel prices, you know, here, you know, it could be cheaper here and expensive, you know, in another place, you know, so there's just been so many people and, um, you know, my grandma, you know, we, we just always seem to come across good people who are always willing to help me and, you know, I'm just so appreciative of that, you know, but, um, you know, this horse, no, excuse me, the paint horse and another horse I had before the paint actually came from, um, Roger DeHosey, so, um, you know, he's just always had a good eye for horses, so that's kind of where I got that one. And, you know, the other one died actually when I was coming back from Vegas. Yeah, so that one passed away, and then I got this one as a step of horse for junior rodeoing. And now that, you know, I'm almost done junior rodeoing, I kind of have another step of horse, which is this one, you know, but there's has been, you know, so many people, like I said, and, you know, you just have to you know, really surround yourself with good people, you know, but there's just too many people to mention, you know, who have helped me along the way, you know, but, you know, you just got to, you know, venture out into your comfort zone, you know. Um, I know when I was at INFR, I had talked to someone I didn't even know, and, you know, he calf was really good, and I asked what, if he knew what I had done wrong, you know, so he helped me out, you know, but that's, that's all a key of it is, you know, kind of, um, you just got to ask questions, you know, and that's the only way that you'll get better and, you know, just finding a way to um, meet new people and get better every day. You know, so the new season coming up, you know, I just plan to, you know, work hard, definitely work harder at it. You know, there's, Indian Rodeo has some tough ropers and, you know, I think you can see that. Anybody could, you know, speak on that, you know, as the times this year were really fast, you know, 
I'm sure if you weren't under a three, you probably didn't place in the round, you know, so that kind of explains, you know, how fast it can be. And, you know, it's only going to get tougher. You know, everybody, you know, was probably just working just as hard, you know, even if, even if they had the finals they did, you know, um, just really come back, you know, to a place like this, you know, really just work on your game, you know. But um, plan to get this one started and, you know, see how things go. And then hopefully this new season he'll take over and this one will, the pain will be stuck at home. So it all, it all depends, you know, it, and it's a process, you know, it's, it don't happen overnight. And that, I think that just goes for anything. And, you know, uh, especially with the horse, you know, it's not just yourself, you know, you've got a whole living thing with you, you know, so um, just really take my time and do everything right with this one. You know, he's a good horse and, you know, he works good for me, you know, so definitely plan to have him on the road with me soon. But, um, you know, just go after anything that you really want to go after. You know, I was telling him earlier um, Saturday as well, you know, I started from nothing. You know, I kind of, I rode it in this white truck, you know, when I first started, you know, and I didn't have um, the best of everything, you know. I just started out with the two horse, you know, so um, from there, you know, it just kind of took off, you know, and I'm, you know, I don't come from a big place, you know. I just, you know, I when I first started, I didn't even have this, you know, and I didn't have, you know, a high caliber of a horse like this one, you know. It was just kind of a res horse, and, you know, it wasn't even full quarter horse at that, you know. So, you know, it, it really takes a lot, and, you know, you just have to have a drive and passion for, you know, whatever your heart desires, and, you know, don't ever be afraid, you know, to go after anything. You know, when I first started out, you know, I had people, you know, talking about me and, everything you know that comes along with um, the sport and you know just in general you know but um, just work hard at what you have and be grateful and appreciate everything that you have you know and um, just you have to step out of your comfort zone and I think that's the biggest thing Casey Green told me you know while roping the dummy you know he said that in order to progress you have to push your limits and I I think I, I live by that, you know, because, you know, there's so many times, you know, where people, they don't want to go somewhere, you know, because they feel like they're not as good as anybody. And, you know, I actually went to a basketball camp um, this year and I was telling my mom, you know, I don't, I went in there not knowing nothing, you know, I've already in my whole life, you know, so to pick up another sport and to be able to learn something for a month, you know, was really different. You know, everybody, you know, goes in, you know, to a clinic, you know, with different, um, abilities to do things and you know you you just learn as you grow so I think that's the biggest thing is to just um, never be afraid